Seriously, you're on the deck of a massive $13 billion floating city, and the Navy's about to set off a giant bomb right beside the hull. Why the Navy look like want to bomb its carrier? Well, this is the procedure that the carrier must do. It's FSST, or Full Ship Shock Trials. But for the USS Gerald R. Ford, those Full Ship Shock Trials were totally real. It might look nuts, but it's actually the Navy's ultimate insurance policy. They need to prove this tech giant can take a huge hit, like from a torpedo or mine near miss, and survive. So, they give it an artificial earthquake. The stakes couldn't be higher, but this extreme test is absolutely necessary to certify that our flagship is the toughest thing on the water and 100% ready for battle. The main goal is survival against today's threats, particularly the massive shockwave from an underwater blast that misses the hull. History shows this non-contact shock can wreck everything inside, violently shaking electronics, breaking pipes, and disabling major gear. That's why everything, from pumps to navigation systems, must be shock-hardened to avoid critical failure during a fight. This whole process is a huge controlled science project. For the Ford, they detonated three whopping 40,000-pound charges, each one closer than the last, to simulate different attack ranges. The ship is packed with thousands of sensors to measure the exact movement and vibration. Comparing this real-world feedback to computer models is vital. It proves the carrier is tough and validates the design for all future ships. The trials also hammer Ford's sensitive new systems, like the magnetic catapult and the landing gear, ensuring these precision electronics don't quit when violently shaken. Having the crew on board gives them unmatched damage control training, as they fix real damage right after the blast. Bottom line, FSST is the final painful but necessary step to prove its fight-through capability, giving the Navy the ultimate stamp of approval before sending its biggest ship into harm's way.